Brothers. I guess the initial reaction to seeing where you're going, seeing who you're playing. Well, in reality, you know, we, it's more about us right now. You know, obviously we're going to go back and look at some film and try to assess, you know, the, our opponents. But, but right now, you know, it's about us being who we are. Uh, it's kind of challenging right now to try to assess teams you know very little about. But that's why you got to concern ourselves very much with who we are and us trying to get back to making sure that we are playing to our strengths and try to minimize the opponent's weaknesses. You talked about trying to find that magic or that next level team to get this time of year. How much of last year was the fact that you had to, to scrap and claw to get into the tournament this time you're kind of safe from here? Well, you know, all we want to do right now though is worry about the mindset that we have. You know, we had a real challenge in two, uh, three days, you know, playing against a top ranked team, four, three top rated teams in the country. And it, it, it takes a lot out of you. And I, I thought that I think we'd be much better prepared now with a clear understanding of the mindset we have to be in playing at that caliber. I, I felt that we did okay the first couple of games. I thought we, we kind of ran out of gas a little bit against a really, really outstanding Duke team. But I think now we're going to understand we got to really reach deep down inside, maybe even a little deeper to make sure that we're a little bit better mentally prepared than much as physically. Physically, you know, we're where we are. We're going to take a couple of days rest, but not very much rest because we're going to end up playing on Thursday. Uh, but right now, I'm more concerned about where we are mentally, and if, and if we are mentally and emotionally okay, I think physically we'll be able to go out and represent ourselves. Do you see a difference in your team versus a couple years ago when they were seeing Florida State pop up in the bracket for the first time versus this year, the third consecutive year? Well, I think our guys are a little more matured about it. We're not, maybe, we, we are pleased and we are happy, but we're not quite as emotional. We understand this, it's, it's going to be hard, and we understand more, uh, more or less what it takes to go in and compete in the, in the NCAA tournament. I thought the, the one year I thought we were glad to get in and we just didn't, I didn't think we played emotionally and mentally and emotionally as well as we could have. And I think now we're better prepared. The, the crowd, you know, you're all tonight, your people behind you shaving their heads in solidarity. What's all that mean to support you guys? Well, I, I think that this shows that it's a lot of enthusiasm for our program. I think it's been, uh, we've given our fans something more to cheer about and our fans has They've, they've been there for us in those moments where we need a little boost. They've given us a little extra six man in the stands. It's kind of excited us a little bit and given us some drilling brushes that maybe has helped us you know, through some of the, the challenging parts of games. Coach, you mentioned the fans. Uh, you're all brothers right here. I mean, is that kind of neat showing up and sensing in this one? Well, no doubt about that. I, I, I feel protected with, 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 with my crew behind me. <laughs> we got to do more of this. We maybe have to go out to dinner and and have a little conversation about how we can get more people to join our club. Matter of fact, we might start getting t-shirts and giving out business cards. No telling, we might take this to a whole nother level. We might have a whole section in the in the in our games next year, all bald-headed brothers. What do you think, fellas? Amen to that. <laughs>